Welcome to the Andrew and Laura McCain Art Gallery. I'm Jennifer Stead, Director and Curator of the Gallery. And today I'd like to introduce you to fiber artist Kathy Didswell, who's putting up the next exhibition that opens on May 15th. Welcome, Kathy. Thank you very much, Jennifer. Both of the pieces that we're looking at right now and many of the pieces in the exhibition are as the single tree. So could you talk a little bit maybe about the one on the the one on your left about that tree and how you came to select that tree to be uh, I walk every morning on the Trans Canada Trail and very close to my home there's this group of three three old willows and they're all gnarly and you can see and I've all, I've thought for years that I really like that tree and I got a picture this winter with the moon the full moon setting um, and I thought, well, I'm, I'm actually going to do something with that. But trees are a bit in my background. I worked in tree improvement for the Canadian Forestry Service for nine years before I became a stay-at-home mom. Um, so because it was tree improvement, we were involved with trees, and I think that that has always come through in my work, that trees are important to me. Painting has been described as a window on the world and that comes to my mind when I look at your work and I also noticed that you have a couple of different approaches to your work and I wonder if you could talk about those a little bit. Okay, um, I consider my work as two separate types of thing. On my left is what I call a thread painting. Uh, often inspired by my own photography, I will draw a picture, draw a very detailed picture on paper, then uh, copy it onto white fabric. The reason for doing that is you can't erase nicely on fabric. Then I will paint the backgrounds with PBO Set-A-Color fabric paint. Uh, you set it with a heat with an iron and then it's color fast. Then I go to the fun part, which is the embellishing, and I use many colors of, of thread. Uh, the domestic sewing machine, you lower the feed dogs, the teeth that normally pull your fabric through, put your work in a hoop, and you move your hoop to create your stitch. Um, my other passion is wall quilts, made with a different techniques really. I will spend a month maybe designing what I, I want to do, uh, then create the background. A lot of the stitching is done free motion, similar to what you, I do with the thread painting. But I like to create a lot of my own appliques. These were done using ink tense pencils, which um, create your color. It, you paint it like a watercolor pencil then add liquid and it turns it to ink and gives you very vibrant colors. And I, you can see perhaps that I like dimensions, so often I've used wire or something to attach the pieces. 